Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to design your primers using NCBI Primer Blast. So first of all, you will have to go to the NCBI website. Go to the NCBI website. Select the gene database from here and then search for a gene that you are going to design primer for. Suppose we are going to design primers for a human albumin gene. Albumin homo sapiens, search for it. This is the homo sapiens albumin gene. Click on this gene ID. Once you click on the gene ID, this page will be opened in a moment. Here you can see the number of exons in this gene. That is, they are 15 in number. And this is the graphical view of your gene human albumin gene and these are the exons shown in green blocks if you count these are 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so these are all 15 exons suppose you are going to design your primers for this exon and you want to amplify this exonic region from the human albumin gene then you will have to select this area first so that you can zoom it, select this region, click on the right mouse button and then zoom on range. This area will be zoomed. After this exon is zoomed sufficiently, then select an area uh, before this exon for the forward primer and another area over here for the reverse primer. So by holding your left mouse button, drag some area for the forward primer and you shouldn't come close to this exon end. Always design your primers 40 or 50 base pairs away from your uh, target region. So this is our target region and this must be 40, 50 base pairs away from this region. For selecting area for the reverse primer, first you will have to click on control button and then click on the left mouse button and drag so this is the area for reverse primer then click on the right mouse button on any one of these areas you can click here or you can also click on this selected region so when you click on this selected region go to this blast and primer search and then primer blast selection then this page will be opened in this page at the end of this page click on this get primers and your primers will be ready in a couple of seconds so here is the list of primers designed by this tool this is the primer pair one this primer this graphical view shows that our if we select this primer fair our forward primer will be attached to this region while our reverse primer will be attached to this region and the area amplified will start from the end of this primer to the end of this primer similarly you can select primer pair 2 3 4 or any other primer pair here they have prepared 10 primer pairs if you want to see the sequences of these primers, then you can see the, them uh, below this graphical view in the tabular view. In the tabular view, you can see the primer pair one. These are the sequences for the first primer pair. Uh, this is the forward primer and this is the reverse primer. This is the product length 258. And these are the lengths of the forward and reverse primers. This is the GC content of uh, the primers. These, is, these are the melting temperatures for the forward and reverse primer. These are the sequences for the primer pair 2 and similarly other sequences. You can select any primer pair among these 10 pairs, but I think the first one is the best choice to select for the amplification of your target region. So that was all about primer designing using NCBI Primer Blast. So thank you for watching. Bye.